Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is David. I hope you're having an amazing day. Hey, let me tell you something. Here in Central Florida, where I live, we have got a ton of invasive feral hogs. Now, I love to hunt them. I also love to eat them. They're delicious. We trap them, too. Right now, it is June in Florida, and these hogs come into all the cow pastures, especially if they're bordering woods, and they come in at night, and they tear up these cow pastures like crazy. I mean, they just root everything. So you have fresh grass that's turned over, the roots are all torn out, and the grass is not growing right. Right now it's supposed to grow good because it's June. It's, um, this is the rainy season for the first time in quite a long time. You have new grass trying to grow. Well, when it happens, you have hungry cows. That's a problem, we can't have that. You know what, like I was saying, we hunt them, we trap them. I thought, what else could I do to get these hogs out of here? I thought, you know what? I'm gonna hop up in the tree stand and see if I can't throw a big old cast net on them and see if it'll work. I'll tell you, it was tough. It was challenging, but it was fun. I'll see you guys down there. I love you. I love you. Why, why are you wearing a glove? Because it's Love you so much. Bye. Bye. Later. See you later. Next see you next time. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna catch a big pig with that net, okay? Bye. Bye. They're already out. They're right there. They have come up here just recently and they've come up into this backyard where all this piping is for the well and everything and they have just rooted the heck out of it. That can cause a big problem. So we got to do something to spook them out of here. We have to. Broken. Let's go. I put fresh corn on the top just to, just to protect us from almost certain death because underneath, I can smell it. It, it, it. There is corn that is like eight months old underneath this fresh corn and it will call those pigs in from a mile away. But they're already here, so we don't gotta worry about it. You know, cow pies are dangerous when you have sandals on. You should just take your sandals off. That way you won't slip in your sandals. You guys, if the audio is a little rough in this video, please forgive me. Um, it's windy as heck out here, so just come to the territory. I'm gonna drop this corn like right here. I'm gonna stand up. Oh, that stinks. I'm gonna stand up in that in that tree stand. And the idea is that we're gonna run that feeder. They're gonna come in, finish that corn. As soon as they're done, they're gonna be right here. This could be game over. That's the hope. Man. That's the hope anyway. Well, that didn't work out too well. So what I decided to do was, hey, I wanna make sure that, is this even possible? So I went down there with my son and a stuffed animal just to do some test throws to see if I could even make it happen. Check it out. You gonna pull me up? Nope, I'm not gonna pull you crazy. 
<laughs> all right. Go on all your four, your hands and feet like, like a dog, like a pig. Put your hands on the ground and and walk like a pig. No, no, no. <laughs> There's our pig. We just caught every single pig. Well, at this point, it looks like it's gonna work. So I thought, you know what? It's time, it is time to make this happen. Let's see if we can get it done. As you can see, the hogs are everywhere. I'm gonna hop up in that tree stand with a gigantic cast net and dump some corn on the bottom of the tree stand and see if I can't throw them down on top of a hog or a couple. <laughs> I hope it'd be a couple, that'd be awesome. Let's go. We've already got the equipment prepared in the blind. We're prepared. Here's the rest of that rank corn. This stuff is, this stuff is wrong to dunk, I'm telling you. We almost, we almost got the big ones. It, it hit the big ones, it landed on them. But they just pushed out from under, which I think I thought might have happened. I can't believe it worked. I can't believe we did it. Should we keep it, Me? Yeah, what do you think? Yes. <laughs> yeah, we'll just keep it. She's too, she's too small to eat, so we're just gonna pen her up and get her bigger. And uh, time will tell what happens. We're trying to sneak away these pigs out of here because they're really bothering the, the landowner. They're coming up in the yard, tearing up the yard. And uh, 
I don't know. What I think is catching this thing and all those hogs hearing it scream like this, they're gonna keep their distance for a while, which is exactly what we want. We're just gonna bring her home just like this, in the net. You guys stay tuned, we're gonna bring her home, put her in the pen, and I'm not sure how the other ones will get along with her, but you will be amazed at how fast this pig tames up. You see how wild and rowdy and crazy she is right now? Give it two weeks max. You ever do something and as soon as you do it, you just don't know what you're gonna do next? That's kind of where I am right now. I'm just gonna start walking somewhere. <laughs> Should have brought some kind of dog kennel or something down here. All I have is all I have her in is a net right now. I don't know what we would have done if we caught one of them big old sows. You see that pig? Yeah. I caught her with the net. I want to catch her. Oh. I see another one. Is that a baby pig? It is. Look at that pig. Can you believe it? She's alive. Yeah, she's alive. Whoa. Isn't that crazy? No, don't put your hands by her mouth. She'll bite you. She'll bite you good. This was it's like Spencer, huh? Spencer's our little hog right there. Someone found him in the middle of town on a highway as a as a little tiny baby. This net is so tangled up. I'm, I'm not sure how this is gonna work, and I don't know how these two are gonna react. It's probably gonna be a rough go for her right away. But, um, because they want to make sure that she knows who's boss. But this is the only pen I have right now in the area that has got uh, holes as a fence that aren't too big to where she won't escape. So. That's what you call an unhappy hog right there. All right, let's see. Let's see how big boy Diego. See, Diego right there, he was exactly like this at one point. We caught him out of that same property in the trap, and now he's our buddy. <laughs> oh. Diego's like, ooh, friend. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that's actually going a lot better than I expected. They're not, I thought that maybe they start attacking her and they're not, so that's good. Vita's going nuts. Well, there you have it. We successfully cast that in the hog, you guys. There she is right there. That was, I will never forget this day, I can tell you that, because I, because this is the third time, uh, fourth time I think trying, and I did not think that it was gonna happen. Well, it happened and it was awesome. Got a new hog for the pen, which is super cool. Vita, shush. Thank you guys for watching. Look forward to seeing you in the next one. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Really appreciate it. it. Helps the channel out. See you next time.